How are you, Maximo? Okay. How are you? I'm great, man. How how are you? How's everything? I'm fine. You good? How was work today, man? Well, it's good. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Good to hear that. We're going to wait for everybody to join in, but uh, thank you for being early, man. You're always very early. So for what time from to, to uh, from what time to what time do you work? I work 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. From 7 a.m. to 5 p.m.? Yes. All right. Well, it's nice that you dedicate some time, you know, to... Yes, um, I get up at 4.30 a.m. every day. Wow. Don't you get, like, pretty tired? Excuse me? Don't you get, like, pretty tired? Mm, no, not too true. No? No. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's just awesome. But, but... Saturday and Sunday, I I try to get up late or uh, uh, get up late around seven thirty eight a.m. Oh, that is late! Wow. Yes. <laughs> Jesus, that is late. That's super late, man. <laughs> yes, eight a.m. is very late for me. Yeah, if you wake up at 4 a.m. all the time, yeah, that's late for... That's very uh -huh. late, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you have to like what you do, right? So perhaps you really like what you do. Mm -hmm. So do you do you like... Do you feel like you like what, to do, what you do? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. I like it. All right, well, that's the I awesome like I I... I do maintenance. maintenance. I do maintenance. Maintenance. Okay. Maintenance. I, maintenance. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. I do um, project. Okay. Projects I, on what? Uh -huh. About um, process. Process is nice. Uh -huh. Process a logistic and um, construction. Processes, logistics, uh, construction. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Construction. Mm. And another cinema, similar activities. And other similar activities. Okay. Yes. Mm hmm. That is pretty cool. I fix, man. I fix engine, I fix machines. You fix engines. Yes, I am engineer. That's nice, man. That's really, really, mm -hmm. really nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, that's that's pretty cool, man. That's that's pretty pretty cool. I think that's one of the best things that you can do. You know. All right. Um. Anyways, I'm very glad to have you here. Welcome, Diego. Nice to see you again. Luis Carranza. Welcome again. How are you doing, guys? Hello, I'm fine. A little bit mm, bored because this day, I don't know, it was a little bit bored, but that's okay. Because it was, uh, again, a really chill day. <laughs> okay. Hey, you're getting paid. To be, you know, but to but to have chill days, so you know that's yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. You can't complain. That is actually a pretty good day, yeah. right? Yeah. So, do you work absolutely from home? Like you don't uh, have to go to yes. the office in like, so you don't have to go to the office at all. I used to go to the office, but right now it's not an obligation to us. So yeah, for us, sorry. Okay. Okay, very good. Very good, man. That's, well, you know, uh, take advantage of that. You know, yeah. that's a really big opportunity. 
I'm trying because I don't know why, but maybe because I am alone in my house, but I feel like a little bit uh, bored and sometimes a little bit sad, but I'm trying to stay awake because it's really hard because I feel a little bit bad and I say I, I need to go to my bed and sleep a little bit. Yeah. But I try to stay awake and stay, you know, um, happy, active. Yeah, exactly. You know, it, it happens. It happens a lot. Mm. All right. Well, I'm very glad that you're here, man. Thank you so much for being early. All right. So let's get started, guys. Morena, welcome. All right. I think that uh, we can get started now. So today, guys, we're going to go over another topic from the platform, which is simple past and past progressive, right? We might have information on simple past already, you know. We might know a few things about simple past and past progressive. Um, but there are things that are different in each of them, you know. Um, so that's what we're going to be looking at today, okay? So um, since today's objective you, you will be introduced to um, to simple past and past progressive forms. All right. So let's do a small warm up. I want you to watch the following video, and you're going and you're gonna give me a summary of the story. Okay. Let me know if you can hear. All right. Let me know if you can hear. Okay. Hey guys. Can you hear? Yes, yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Sorry about the quality, but these videos are like from, I don't know, from the 60s or something. You know? <laughs> You're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that. Just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. Was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor, dead, bride so how did it turn out what finally happened to him that's the spooky part it's a mystery people saw him less and less and then theodore mcshane just disappeared no one ever saw him again but the 
people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. So that that was <laughs> that was a cringy story more than anything. <laughs> what do you think? What was the story about? Yeah, it was a story about uh oh sorry. It was a story about a happy couple that one day um, I don't know, I haven't had an accident in his house when the woman was alone. And she died. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, Maximo, Morena, Luis, what do you think? Thank you, Diego. What was the story about? And why were a they couple... scared at the end? Ah, uh, so... uh, she, uh, a couple, a couple, and in the beginning, they. They was happy, happiest, happiest, happier, man. Eh? They were a happy couple. Mm -hmm. Uh huh, uh huh. And, and she died in fire. She died in a fire, right? Okay, because very good. Uh -huh. She died in the fire. Mm -hmm. She died. She died in the uh -huh. fire. Uh huh. And he refused. Her, her, her death. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. That is correct. Um, and why were they scared at the end? Uh, Louis. Um, uh, I don't know. I think uh, the, the video is about the about a story that happened in the same camp uh many years ago but this i live listen to about a couple um who love each other very much but um the she died and i think the the man in the final of the video is the is the husband is a husband or no all right yeah yeah actually that's exactly what happened okay so very good you you got um you got the main plot you know so um so we actually use guys simple past and past continuous right to talk about a story in the past for example this is a good way of explaining you know the story we just watched we uh we use simple past to talk about sequential actions, you know, and past continues to say what was happening at a particular moment in the past, okay? So we use past continuous, okay? So we, we have um, three different uses for past continuous, okay? What's the first one? Who'd like to help me read the first one? Uh, 
we use the past continuous. Okay, we use the past continuous to describe an action in progress in the past. To describe two or more simultaneous action. To describe an action that was in progress and was interrupted. Very good. I want you to remember these two things, okay? Well, actually everything, right? So yes, an action in the past, two or more simultaneous things, right, happening in the, in, in the past. Okay, remember this one. This one is very important. An action that was in progress and then was interrupted. Remember that, okay? That right there is going to become really, really important. All right, and then what, what do we use simple past for? Who would like to help me read what we use simple past for? We use the past simple to describe situation to describe situations that finished in the past, to describe past habits, to describe one completed past action after another, and to describe an action that interrupted an action in progress. Very good, very good, right? Another, another with a th. Another. Yes. Another. So, Sorry. Yes. So to describe an action that was interrupted. An action that 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 interrupted an action in progress, right? So okay, so remember this part. To describe an action that interrupted an action in progress, okay, that is also going to become very important. So do my favor, okay, real quick. So so just as a warm up activity, I want you to come up with an example, all right? Maybe you want to talk about. Maybe you want to talk about the story that you, we just watched. I want you to come up with three examples in your notebook, uh, combining simple past and past progressive, okay? Let's see what you got. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes, right? But try to combine them. I want to see something like this. I want to see, all right, hold on. So we're going to type this in here. Okay, so three examples. In your notebook, combining simple, you know, simple past and past progressive, okay? So I want an example like this. You can say, um, my sister was... cleaning her bedroom, right? While, um, when, right, when her phone rang, okay? This is an example on what you're gonna do, okay? My sister was cleaning her bedroom when her phone rang, right? So I'm combining, where's the, where's the civil past part here? when her phone rang, right? Yeah. Then my sister was cleaning her bedroom is the past progressive, okay? So I want, actually give me five examples, right? Give me five examples, combining both. It's okay if you make mistakes, right? We're gonna correct them later, okay? So let's go, let's okay. try our best.
Very good, guys. So we uh, do we have did we finish all the five examples? <laughs> yes. All right, very good. So let's see, Marina, what's yours? Okay, I don't know it's correct, but I try. Okay, I was cooking when my computer crashed. When my computer crashed, awesome. Okay, so I was um, cooking when one, my computer crashed. Okay, the other one. My husband came to his house when it was raining. My husband came. Came to his house. Well, actually, if you leave, it came home, right? Okay, came home mm -hmm. when it was raining. <coughs> when was raining? Was raining. Okay. The another one, my mother was watching TV when my father went to the church. Okay. Okay. When my father went to the church. Okay. What else? That's it. That's it? Awesome. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Very good. There, there are some things that we need to correct here, but uh, we're going to see that later, right? Yes. Okay. So I was cooking with my computer crash. My husband, this one is okay. My husband came home when, when it was raining. What are we missing there? Remember that this is a combination between simple past and past progressive, right? So what are we missing? And this is the second example, guys. Come on, now. The what? I'm sorry. The punctuation, punctuation, comma. No. Mm, no. 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 Okay, no. No. Okay. No. Diego, Luis, Maximo. The second one, right? Yes. When it was raining, but I don't know. Well, you you mentioned one already, right? Yeah. It, it was raining. Right. Mm -hmm. We're missing the. We're missing the subject here. When it, yeah, right. But we're, oh, okay, we're okay. and you know this should be while. I'm gonna teach you why later. Why my husband came home yeah. while it was raining. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Very good. My mm. mother was watching TV when my father, uh, when my father went to the church. So what about this one? There is a mistake here too. What is it? Oh, when my father. Is it my father? When my father what? Mm. Maximo? Luis? All right, so I'm gonna give you the answer here. All right, is, my is mother was- Is possible uh, other subject? Like what? Uh, my mother, when my father went to the, torch, the church, it's possible use two subject. Okay, now there, mother, there are two uh -huh. things here that are wrong. First of all, it's not to that church, it's to church, right? Church. We're not being specific okay. about a church. Secondly, okay. my mother was watching TV when my father went to church. Right? So you can say this is, technically, this is technically correct now, but remember that we use this for an interrupted action, right? Um, so, I mean, this is correct, uh, right? My mother was watching TV when my father went to church. But right? that doesn't but interrupt was the like, Exactly. So we should be saying uh -huh. while, you know, while. Okay. 
my father was heading right heading towards his church mm -hmm. right so they, they, these are two actions happening at the same time now right okay mm -hmm. so very good but very good okay very good it's okay that we're here to make mistakes so we can learn what happened later right so good job thank you very much um Morena. All right. So, Hi, you're welcome. Okay, so let's see. Mario, what um Mario, not no Mario. Um Diego, what do you what do you have? Uh I was washing the dishes when my English class started. Very good, right? So we can say we can say something like this. We can say Right, I was washing dishes. Dishes, oh, washing my... dishes. Okay, is that what you said? Washing dishes. Hey, washing the dishes. Washing dishes. Okay. Mm -hmm. When my class started. Okay, All right. Good job. So you got this one. Uh, next one. Uh, they were telling stories when he made them scream. They were telling stories when, very good, when he made them scream. scream. Very good. Good job. Next one. I was watching TV when my sister called me. I was watching, right? I was watching TV when my sister. My sister called me. Called me. Very good. Right? Great, great job. Okay, so these are, so notice, notice I want you to notice here how we're using past progressive, right? For something that was happening continuously. And then, you know, something mm -hmm. interrupted that action. See, they were telling stories, right? Hey, you know, this was happening and then they got interrupted. All right, remember this, because I want you to use how we're using when here. I was watching TV when my sister called me, right? Hey, I was watching TV when something interrupted me. And what was that? What was that thing that interrupt that interrupted me? That my sister called me, right? That was yeah. the the that was the interrupted action. Okay. All right. So so that's you know that's that's basically you know what what we see here. Okay. All right. So let's see your example, Maximo. I was listening music when my earphone damaged. You always damaged. say listening, listening to, not listening music. Listening to music. So listening I to music was, was listening, listening to right. music when my earphone damaged. When my earphone damaged. It, I broke. Broke. Okay. Down. Right. I broke down. Okay. All right. I was listening to music when my earphone broke down. Okay. Very good. So this is correct, right? So hey, you know, action that was continuous, continuously happening, right? And then the action got interrupted, right? Very good. So this is past progressive, right? And this is simple past. Okay, very good. Uh, next one. What is the your other example? My husband mm -hmm. was watching TV. Okay. When my mom take her out to lunch. When my mom take her out to lunch. Now here, we gotta correct a couple of things. What do you mm -hmm. what 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 should we correct here, guys? And girls. Husband and her. Because one is masculine and the other ah, one it is feminine. Took, took. My mom took her okay. out to lunch. Oh, yeah. Okay, took. Okay, so we got took. Took. took and her then out we're, to lunch. And we're missing. So who did your mom take? Who did she take? I'm wondering, who did you take? 
with her. So, so, so who's her? Like this right here, right? Because you're saying um, when my mom took her to lunch, right? Took her out to lunch. Who is, who is, uh, who's her? My husband. No, but then that would be, that would not be, him. that would be him, right? My yeah. husband was watching TV when my mom took him out ah, to lunch. Ah, no, no. Uh, sorry, my wife. <laughs> Your wife, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's My fine no, no judging you know no judging <laughs> I was like okay right it's okay you know oh I was just confused about her why who is her right yes, yes. she's talking about his what his husband <laughs> hey in this world right you cannot judge you know <laughs> all right very good <laughs> that was a fun example, man. Very good. Okay. See? <laughs> all right. Very good. So, all right. Now that makes sense. My wife was watching TV when my mom took her out to lunch. Right? Very good. Uh, okay. Very good. What is the next one? I was drinking tea. Mm hmm When my cup crashed. I was drinking tea. When my cup crashed. You, your cup cannot crash. What do you mean when 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 uh when I dropped broke when I dropped my cup perhaps when I dropped my cup and it broke? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And it broke like this? Okay. I was drinking tea when I dropped my cup and it broke. Right? Now this would be okay, see? Um, but your previous sentence, when my cup broke, uh, crashed, you know, a crash is like when you're driving, you know, so you're mm -hmm. driving, you have your, you know, you have your, 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 I don't know, right? Your, your Corvette. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. And you're driving at full speed, you know, right? This presents, <laughs> this represents the wind, right? So as you're driving. And then there is like a wall, right? Full of bricks. Okay, and then you crash here when the action happens, right? This is where you yes. crash, right? Mm -hmm. so, so your cup cannot crash. It's not like that, right? Maybe, maybe, right? This would happen. Maybe what happened is that you were drinking coffee, right? And then mm -hmm. you were using a cup and then, you know, the, you dropped your cup and then you know it crashed into pieces right right so this is something that might have happened mm -hmm. now this is not crashed okay this is it just broke into pieces or you know this is breaking into pieces or you can say you know I dropped so the, when we say this this is dropped I dropped and this is in the past, right? Repeat, I dropped. I dropped. Very good. So I, I dropped. dropped. I dropped. And it broke, right? It's broke, not broke. 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 All right, very good. Broke. Got it? Okay, so two different verbs, right? So that's how you have to do it for, uh, for it to make sense, okay? Very good, man. Thank you very much. All right, uh, Luis, what do we have, Luis? Okay, the first one, uh, my dog was running when another dog crashed in with him. Mm, my dog was Over. running when another, well, you can say that, another dog crashed with him. Okay, very good. Okay, the second one. Yesterday, I was driving to my work, and suddenly I received an unexpected call. Okay, so yesterday, right? Yesterday, 
I was driving home. You don't say to my home, guys. That you, I mean, to my when, work? Oh, to work, right? When I was driving to my work. To work. Okay. I was driving to work. And then? And suddenly I received an inspector call. I received. Repeat, received. 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 An unexpected call, right? An unexpected call, yeah. An unexpected Right. Yesterday, comma, actually, I was driving to my work and suddenly I received an unexpected call. Very good. Okay. Um, an expected call, right? Very good. Uh, next one. Uh, we were having dinner with my family mm -hmm. while it was raining very hard. While it was raining, right? While it was raining. Okay, right. This is these are two okay. actions happening at the same time, right? So this is a good example of that. Okay, very good. So let's go back to the presentation here. So yes, guys. Okay, we learned you know how to use that, right? So what is the structure of simple past? Well, we have two things to take care of when it comes to simple past. Okay. We have two types of verbs. And what are those two types of verbs? We have irregular verbs and we have regular, regular verbs, right? Regular and irregular. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to focus on regular ones because they follow rules, right? Simple. So the, the point of irregular verbs is that you have to memorize them, right? Because they don't follow any rule. So the only rule... Mm -hmm. The only thing that you need to do there is, you know, you have to, um, is memorizing them, okay? So, uh, so then past progressive, right? So what do we have in past progressive? Past progressive, guys, is formed by using B, right? And the ING form of the verb, right? So the conjugation of the mm -hmm. verb B. So for example, we have two, uh, we have two different types of conjugations in simple past for the verb B. What are they? One is was, was and where, was, where, and where, and where, right? Very good. So, can I say you was like if I'm referring, if I'm talking about one person, can I say you was, you was working? Can I say that you was working? No, you were, you were working, even if it is just a singular noun, right? We need to say you were, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so remember, so so then that's how we're gonna form it, right? We're gonna have the verb be and the ing form of the verb. So exceptions in past progressive. Okay, so certain verbs are only used in simple past, and this one this one is extremely important for you to learn. This part right here, esta parte aquí es muy importante que se la aprendan si de verdad quieren hablar inglés. Okay, because there is something that we call stative verbs. Okay, now all verbs, guys, have a gerund form. All of them, okay? Todos los verbos tienen un gerundio. But a gerund is not an action in progress, okay? Un gerundio no es una acción en progreso. It's a noun, right? It's a, it's un sustantivo. Got it? Mm -hmm. So far, so good? Yeah. So it, yeah. It's, it's a noun, right? So now, if we say that these are only used in simple past, Okay, why why is that? Because they cannot be used as a progressive action. For example, we were on holiday, right? We say we were. We don't say we were being. Got it? We cannot say this. I was being on holiday. I was being on vacation. Right? Because it's a state. You cannot say, right? And you can see some of them in Spanish, you know, but not in English. Oh, um, how can I say, guys? Me estaba costando 500 dólares. How can I say that? It cost me $500. Okay. What do you think, uh, Morena? How can I say, you know? No. 
I, I, I say, maybe I say the cost is $500. No, but I want you to tell me how to say, you know, me estaba costando 500 dollars. Because you can say that in me Spanish, estaba right? costando, okay. Mm -hmm. Uy, fíjate que me estaba costando un montón. We, uh, we say those things in Spanish, it's right? It's about price. It, it was worth, worth, or the, it was worth. the price was. No, but I, I do want to say, you know, can I say that in English? Can I say me está costando 500 dólares? Yes or no, guys? Mm. Can I say it was costing $500? No. No. Costing? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was cost. Nope. You cannot say that. That's the point. Right? You say it cost, right? Because the mm. past is cost. It cost $500. Okay? So you cannot say it was costing. Okay. Oh, you know the the Uy, la camisa le estaba quedando muy bien. How do you say that? La camisa le estaba quedando muy bien. How do you say that? What do you think? It 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 fixed it. It fixed. what? It fixed. No, the verb is fit. A fit. The, ah, fit. the Perdón, t-shirt fit. was fitting. The T-shirt was fitting you? Fitting you. La camisa te estaba quedando muy bien. Well, well, fitting you. Well? Nice okay. or well, I don't know. <laughs> okay, nicely. Very, very good. And, we... and another one, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. The uh, other one. You, the, the, the another one? The other one. Change. Okay, the other one. Mm -hmm. I I was having. I was having. It's not correct. Uh -huh. Nope. Neither is this one. All right. So the, the problem here is that, that you cannot use you cannot use these verbs in progressive form. Okay. You can't say you can say oh the 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 t-shirt right. T-shirt fit. Um, what's the past of what's the past of fit, guys? T e d. Fit. Okay, fit you nicely, right? Fit, fit, fit. Isn't it fitted you? What is the past of fit? Is it fit? Fit. 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 Okay, very fit, good, fit, right? Fit. So, very. It's fit in all tenses, right? Very good. Mm -hmm. yeah. so you say, all right, so you say, you know, the t-shirt fits you nicely. You cannot say it was fitting you nicely, okay? That is the point, because this is a stative verb. Estos verbos no se pueden usar en una forma continua cuando se refieren a una acción continua. Got it? En okay. español a veces puede, pero es por eso que no tienen que pensar en español. Because they don't follow the same rules as in Spanish, all right? So, for example, if you use another stative ver verb would be belong or have, okay, when we talk about position. Can I say, you know, that, um, can I say that cat was belonging, Hello. was belonging to me? Can I say that? Ese gato no. me está perteneciendo. Can I say that in English? No. No. no, right? How do you say that? Belong. Cat belong. Belong. That, that cat, cat belonged to me. Cat belonged belong. to me. Belong. Belonged. Mm -hmm. belonged. Okay, very good. Um, can I say I was having a lot of money? Can I say this? No. No. Okay, no, right? Can I say I was having mm -hmm. a lot of fun? No. Yes, you can say this. 
because mm -hmm. in this case, you're not using the verb have as possession. Got it? Okay. Cuando vos decís Got it. tenía diversión, no te referías a que poseías la diversión. Got it? Okay, so okay. yeah, you can say that, right? Because we're not referring to position. But if it is posse position, mm. you know, you cannot use it like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, very good. So same thing with uh, feel, right? You can say he felt the cold. You cannot say he was feeling the cold, right? Because it already happened. He heard, saw, right? smelled, tasted, touched. Right? Those are things that can only be used with simple past, not a past progressive form. Hate, hope, like, love, right? Now, I know that McDonald's says, I was, I'm loving it, right? Uh, but that is, a, that is mm -hmm. a grammatically incorrect expression because you cannot say, how many times have you heard this, guys, in movies? I am loving you. <laughs> uh -huh. How many times have you heard that? Never. Right? So here, guys, you don't say I'm loving you. You say I love you, right? Mm -hmm. In the past, you don't say I was loving you, right? Oh, I was loving you, right? Because no, uh, you can't do that, right? Oh, mira, es que yo te estaba amando de lunes a viernes, pero ya los sábados y domingos ya no. Mm -hmm. Right? Got it was not a continuous action. It's not an action, first of all, okay? It's a feeling, and that's the thing. Right, we're not expressing an action. So put it like this, okay? If you cannot imitate something with your hands, for example, if I if I told you, hey, how do you represent uh, run with your hands, with your fingers, right? Como me representan correr con sus con sus dedos, right? And you would be like doing, uh, you would be moving like your fingers, right? But how do you represent love? And you cannot do a heart. No. How do you represent the action? You cannot represent love with an action right do you understand yeah, the point right yes okay there is no action for that it's a it's a state okay so you never guys use them in progressive forms okay not like that as gerunds yes because okay. gerunds are different right the gerunds are uh way different okay they are they are the um they are considered nouns Right? So, anyways, very good. So then, you know, while and when, this is this is what we are gonna be talking about. Uh, next, guys, okay? While and when, when do we use them? So while, guys, while, I want you to remember this. Please write it down because this is very important, okay? So while, hold on. While will be used with past progressive, right? Okay, can we use, can we use, um, hold on, let me type it in here, okay? Plus past progressive. Now, can we use while, guys? with anything other than past progressive can, can we use while with with simple past yes or no no right we cannot use while with simple per, with, with past progressive okay i mean with simple past sorry <laughs> right we have to use it with past progressive we have to use it with past continuous all right. Okay. 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 Now, while guys, while every time that you see while, if you want to use it, it has to be used with past continuous. Okay. Take a look at this example. While I was having lunch, the alarm went off. Okay. We're gonna use while guys for an action that was happening at the same time. Okay. Now I have another question for you. Can I say while I was having lunch, when the alarm went off? Can I say that? Can no. I use why and when together? No. No, you can you can't. Okay, can I say I was having lunch when the alarm went off? No. No. Yes. Oh yes, guys. Yes. I was having lunch 
when the alarm. Oh, I was having. Ah, when. Yes, I was having ah, okay, lunch yeah, when yes. the alarm went off, right? Yes. Very yes. good. Yes, okay, you can say okay, that. Okay. Is there any difference between uh is there any difference between while I was having lunch the alarm went off and I was mm -hmm. having lunch when the alarm went off? Is there any difference? What do you think? Yes, because in the first one you say hey, while well, something was happening. Mm -hmm. mm, something else happened, but you had when and you already used while. Okay, no, there is no difference. Listen, if you say I was having lunch when the alarm went off, is uh -huh. the same thing as saying while I was having lunch, the alarm went off. There is no oh, change. Sorry. I think you said Sorry, I, I think you said uh, when I was having lunch, when the alarm, sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. No, in that okay. case, no, you would not, you would not use yeah, it. Yeah, that's incorrect. Yeah. yeah. No, but, but yes, guys, so it is possible, right? If, you, if it is possible to say, to to avoid having, so, so basically, guys, it, you can use one or the other one, okay? Yeah, yeah. And it is possible, right? It is possible to have, you can combine past progressive and past simple, and you can mm -hmm. combine past progressive and past progressive, okay? Okay. Right? So while, oh, guys, yeah. while, so basically the main difference between them both is that we use while, right, with past progressive, because when we use past progressive, we're talking about a longer action in the past, okay? And when we use when... Yeah. It's a it's a shorter action, right? Because it's an action that happened just one, you know. Past mm -hmm. simple past is used to talk about something that happened in the past and finished in the past, right? It happened during a moment. It was not happening. It was not happening continuously. Okay. Okay. So take a look at this example. He was watching TV when somebody knocked the door, right? Mm -hmm. So notice that we're using when and when to talk about an action that was happening and got interrupted, all right? So if you combine while and when, well, if you combine past progressive and simple past in a sentence, it's because past, past uh, simple past talks, to, talks, about, um, talks about an interrupted action, okay? Yeah. So that would be an interrupted action. And then, um, so he was watching TV when somebody knocked the door, right? So, hey, I was watching TV, right? I was watching, I don't know, you know, um, La Usurpadora, right? So somebody was watching La Usurpadora and somebody knocked on the door, right? So that, so what was the action that, that interrupted La Usurpadora? Somebody knocking on the door. Somebody, somebody knocking, knocking the door. on the door, right? Very good. Mm -hmm. And that should be, you guys, knocked on the door. Because when you say somebody knocked the door, it's like somebody actually, you know, broke the door and knocked it down, you know? Okay. So knocked on the door, right? Okay. Um, so then while, guys, right, uh, you can say, so So is there anything, could I say, guys, could I say while he was watching TV, somebody knocked on the door? Could I say that? No. Yes, guys. Yes. 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 Is there any difference in meaning? No. No, right? Oh. So what am I saying? Hey, si vas a combinar simple, simple past con past progressive, es tu decisión usar while or when. Solo sabe que mm -hmm. vas a usar while con pasado progresivo y vas a usar when con past simple past. Simple. Okay? simple. All right, mm -hmm. and you can say, guys, now, if you're not going to talk about interrupted actions, right? So let's say that we don't want to talk about something that was interrupted, right? We can use, guys, um, well, we're going to talk about this later, right? But I was going to tell you that if you don't want to talk about an, interrupt, an interrupted action, you can do this. You can say, hey, I was cooking while i was listening 
to music, right? So notice that here we have simple a past progressive and past progressive together, right? I was cooking dinner, I was cooking, past progressive, right? While yeah. I was listening to music, past progressive. That is two actions at the same time. When we have two actions at the same time, guys, we are always, always going to use while, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, is it clear, guys? Did we learn anything new today? Yes, we yes. learned a lot. Yes. All right, perfect, perfect. Hey, um, so guys, I need you to complete the platform, please, 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 please finish the platform, okay. guys, um, before this week. I mean, you can finish it this um, this weekend if you want. All right, because otherwise, English Cooperative is going to be sending you messages. All right, uh, mm -hmm. so take advantage of this course, guys. Uh, you're doing pretty, pretty, pretty good, guys. Okay, you're doing, you're doing really, really good. Um, thank you, you know, for being early. I don't know what happened to the rest of the class. Maybe is it raining today? Because I'm still at the office, guys. I have not gone out. Is, has it? Is it raining? No, right now, no. Yes, no, no, no. Okay, all right. Anyway, so um, do we have any questions? No. Any questions? No. no questions. You don't say any questions, okay? Okay, any, thank any, you. Any, no. It's not you saying positive <laughs> sentences like that. No questions. Okay, okay, no questions. All right, very good. Guys, thank you very much for joining. I'll see you on Monday. Okay. Happy Happy Father's Day for if you're if you're a dad. Um, I don't know who is the dad here, but but anyways, thank you very much, guys. Okay, I'll see you. Thank on you so Monday. much. See you guys.